guess with embalming, as, as long as I've been at it, there were always clots, smaller, smaller in nature compared to what we're seeing today. And the, the white fibrin structures that are so large today, um, I hadn't seen anything that large uh, other than just a small uh, type of, of structures until the last 16 or 18 months. And I, I lectured to the Ohio Embalmers Association a couple of weeks ago, and I, I showed the photos and I asked those in attendance, and there were about a hundred embalmers in the room. I asked um, how many had uh, in the last um, 16 to 18 months had seen uh, structures similar to these, larger in size, more significant in size than they had seen prior to 18 months ago, everyone in the room raised their hand, virtually everyone in the room raised their hand. And as we, we talked just a little more, I said, this isn't political. I'm just trying to find answers, folks. And so mo most of you are telling me that you had not seen these prior in your careers to uh, 16, 18 months ago. And again, the same number of hands went up and, and we always have these um, uh, people trying to play it down that, that said they've seen these. And, and Richard and I have communicated, I don't know what, Richard, for a year, year and a half, and, and as we talked about seeing um, these, these blood clots, people would argue with us and, and say they've always seen blood clots. So I suggested to Richard or sometime in our conversation that perhaps we shouldn't call these, these big structures blood clots because they don't possess the, uh, the, um, the embodiment, if you will, of being a blood clot. They're, they're more of a, a, a fibrin structure which which separates them from uh, the the uh, current jelly clots that are more common that that could form a uh, post mortem but uh, these these bigger white fibrin structures that are being removed by uh, cardiologists and surgeons um, you know they're not forming after death they're present in the body uh, while the body's still thriving. <laughs>